Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Ammon and today I'm doing a mock test with Emily. Now Emily's been learning to drive with me for about I think two months just over. Yeah. I can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're doing a bit of an intensive drive. We've been driving, uh, we've probably done about just 25 hours, 26 hours or yeah, so. Yeah, about that. And her test is in just under a week, just over a week's time actually. And this is our second mock test. Now in the first mock test, she made a bit of a serious fault. She's a bit of a perfectionist, which is uh, <laughs> kind of the reason why she messed up. Um, yeah, she kind of dwells on the mistakes once she's, so even if it's a minor fault, she gets held up on it. And that's something that we're trying to get over mm -hmm. at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, you're allowed up to 15 minor mistakes. Yeah. Remember that, okay? All right, so throughout the drive, follow the road ahead. Mm -hmm. Whenever I need you to turn, I'll tell you. If I don't say anything, keep going straight. We're going to do one manoeuvre and we may carry out the emergency stop. Okay. All right? Yeah. And another thing, she doesn't like driving in silence. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to drive for about half an hour, 40 minutes at most. Um, her test is in a different area from where we're driving today. Today is just all about just being able to cope with any type of roads, roundabouts, slip roads and stuff like that. Yep. Yes? Cool. Okay, let's start. Let's go. <laughs> to drive up on a view ready. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to another mock test. Now today's mock test is with Emily. Now she is a very good driver. So today's route is a mixture of crossroads and roundabouts so that when Emily has her real driving test next week, she can deal with any challenging roads and be well prepared to pass her test. When it comes to dealing with motorbikes in city centres, always be wary as motorbikes usually swerve in and out around traffic and they might move in front of you suddenly. In traffic like this, always be aware of your surroundings so keep an eye on your top mirror and side mirrors to make sure if there are any motorbikes around you, you know exactly where they are. I'm not good in the silence. I'm like tapping and... <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. Don't put it down my game. No, stop. While waiting in this position for the driver ahead of us to turn right, it's really important to check mirrors towards the left as cyclists would still get through that space and also look out for motorbikes.
much of this right turn, Emily moves into the middle of the road, making sure that she's fully in the centre reservation and waits in a good position before turning. Here, Emily deals with the meeting situations really early, making sure that she gives herself enough space from the white car ahead. Always try to maintain at least two car lengths in front so it's easy to move out from this position. Approaching the bend towards the right, Emily positions over towards the left hand side of the road in case there's an oncoming vehicle. Along this road, Emily maintains good clearance all around, making sure she's leaving enough space from the island as well as the parked cars. As we moved off to turn left at these traffic lights, Emily nearly gets a serious fault for response to traffic lights. As she turns into the new road, there is a traffic light which is red, which is not for us and it's for the road behind. As nobody followed us closely behind and she didn't affect anyone, this didn't go down as a serious fault, but you shouldn't stop for that traffic light as it's not for you. space to move away. Alright, so we're going to start the independent driving from here. I'm going to give you a series of directions to follow. Okay, I'd like you to go up to the very end of this road, turn left, and then at the traffic lights, turn right. Okay. So at the end, where are we going? Left. And then? Right, at the traffic lights. Okay, I will give you some more 
directions after that, okay? Okay. And if you forget, you can ask. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. traffic light junction when the traffic lights go green you need to go into the yellow box and wait in the middle until it's safe to turn once you're in the middle there is no traffic light so you simply need to wait for the road ahead to be visibly clear before you can turn the traffic opposite that's turning right would usually go before you As you can see here, the vehicle ahead didn't come into the yellow box junction. If they carry on waiting in this position, when the traffic lights go red, they'll have to stay there as it's not safe to enter. Emily waits for the road ahead to be clear before turning right, but the van behind her uses the horn as she moves off a little bit slower. This causes her to stall the engine. reacted really quickly and soon moves off so this would not be counted as a major fault. Any round? 
I was like, is this guy on my right? Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> you can carry on talking. I'm just not <laughs> you just respond. can't respond. <laughs> just like me talking to myself. Like, there is a slip road joining with vehicles approaching at 50 miles per hour. Emily notices the vehicles approaching and makes good use of her mirrors and moves into the middle lane to make space for them. Another option would be to adjust your speed either by speeding up or slowing down to make space for them. the vehicle approaching is more or less at the same speed so Emily was able to just adjust her speed by gently stepping off the accelerator or braking a little bit to accommodate for them. Staines is the A308. A308. Yeah. Emily starts off this roundabout really well, starting in the right-hand lane for Staines 
As we went round the roundabout, the right-hand lane moves away from the roundabout and then splits into two lanes. Emily goes for the far right lane, which no longer goes towards her exit. As she deals with it safely by using her mirrors and waiting for a safe opportunity to move into the left-hand lane, this would not be a big issue. roundabout like this with flowing traffic on the left can sometimes be really tricky so always try and position towards the left when your exit's coming up. Okay that's the end of your independent driving I'm going to give you directions as normal from now on okay? Okay. Once you're on the exit, always try and move back to the left-hand lane when safe, as we're still in the overtaking lane. As the traffic's not really moving, this isn't necessarily a fault at the moment, but try and move back when safe. Of a hazard ahead, Emily uses her mirrors and signals right to get around the van. The signal was slightly misleading as there were two junctions on the right hand side. Had somebody been in any of those two junctions, this would have gone down as a serious fault as this signal would be very misleading that she's turning into that road rather than going around the van. You would simply need to just use your mirrors, make sure the road ahead is clear, and just move around without a signal. slip road when you're coming in from an angle it's always very important to lean forward and use the right hand mirror to make sure that nobody is in your blind spot.
this dual carriageway, the lane that we're on already comes off the dual carriageway, so you wouldn't need a signal in order to take the exit. marked down for hesitation on this roundabout as she does miss a safe gap, but she takes the next available gap so this wouldn't be a serious fault. As we went into this roundabout to take the third exit, Emily does make a serious fault with her signal timed. She's in position to take the third exit, but then just before the exit she turns off the signal and goes past. wasn't the big issue. The big issue was we were signalling and already in position to exit and suddenly we're going past the exit and this signal is very misleading. I'm so dumb. It's literally red. Like, why am I second guess? <laughs> Relax. It's like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm so dumb. But like, I literally stopped. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, this girl is crazy. There we go. Okay, see, now we can go. Go on. Oh shoot, it's my one. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just turn right. Stop talking, just make a right turn. We'll talk about it later, okay? I'm gonna have to bait on now as well, which I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, turn right. Turn right? Yes, yeah. please, okay, yeah. Fine. Thank you, Emily. Now forward park into any space, entirely your choice. Just forward park into a space. Make sure you finish within the white lines, okay? Okay. Please leave it there? Yeah. Secure the car. You're in the space. Am I actually? Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. 
You done having your little meltdown? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk. <laughs> this is actually so hard. I let's talk it. about how that went. Okay. I failed. Give me a second. Okay, so that's the end of your test. So how would you say that went for you? Uh, really bad. Okay, why exactly? Because I just kept making mistakes and then I knew I made one, like right at the beginning I knew I made a mistake and then from that point I was like, oh well. Alright, what would you say was your serious fault then? When I tried to turn right and it was red. What, just now? Yeah, okay. that was a biggie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I made one earlier as well. When exactly? I can't remember, I just know I screwed it up. All right, these traffic lights right at the very end, that was a very silly fault, but that was a serious fault because now the light in front of you is clearly red and you said, oh, should I go? And I didn't say anything. And then you started moving forward and I had to tell you to I, stop. Like, I literally had stopped for what? I was like, oh yeah, it's not my light. And then I started going and I, I was an idiot. I'm just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first thing. And then when the lights went green, you kind of went forward and stopped. Oh. And the traffic in front's clearly not going. You've got a filter arrow. Oh. You need to turn immediately. Yeah. And the guy behind had to hoot you. So again, that would have been a serious <laughs> fault response to traffic lights again. Okay, now all your serious faults happened right at the very end. This traffic light, obviously. But there's one more, which was your signal timed on that last roundabout. Mm -hmm. Now we're in position to turn right third exit. You've moved into the right-hand lane. As you're about to exit, you've moved into the left-hand lane. You're approaching with a left indicator. The exit's right in front of you. Just before you've taken the exit, you've now turned it off and you've gone back round. Now that yeah. signal is very misleading. Yeah. Now, nobody was affected in this case, but there was a call on our right now. What if he wanted to try and exit? And then yeah. the guys on the exit, they could have come out in front of you thinking, oh, look, she's leaving. Let me go out. Yeah. And now you've gone back round. So yeah. at that point, you should have just taken the exit. Even if you feel like, oh, I'm taking the wrong exit, just yeah. carry on. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was that exit. And then I just was like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, that's done. That's that's the only faults I've got. So that roundabout and then that traffic light. And so the last like five minutes. Cool. Besides this, it was very good. You were doing really well. Wait, genuinely? I, genuinely, I didn't have any other serious faults until that roundabout now. Mm, okay. okay. I thought I'd failed earlier. No, you haven't. Let me let me go over some of the other faults though that you're probably thinking about. Mm -hmm. Um so I've got the moving off control where you stalled in that traffic light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the lights went green, you went into the yellow box. You actually went into the correct position. The guy in front of us, however, he kind of waited at the stop line still. He should have come forward as well. Yeah. Now when you were waiting in the middle, there were really no chances for you to turn. And then when the traffic in front cleared, you just sat there. And now the guy behind, you're about to move and the guy behind mm. hooted you. And he me and then you panicked me. <laughs> So yeah, so a bit of hesitation on the, on the moving on that one and yeah. then um, the stall happened at the exact same spot. Yeah. And then the roundabout, you know where the lorry came in from the left yeah. really fast? Now you didn't do anything wrong there. It was just his speed was too fast. He actually sort of put his hand up as oh, sorry. Did he? Yeah, oh, he did. Okay. Um, but no, you dealt with that all nicely. On this roundabout just now, hesitation. We have that clear gap and as it's went, uh, as it sort of went past, you were like, oh, I should have gone there. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a gap that you could have taken, but it's all minor faults. Um, oh, this was one that nearly went into a serious <laughs> fault. Okay, now right earlier, remember when I said to you, we're going to start the independent drive now? Yeah. And I said to you, at the end of this road, turn left, traffic lights turn right. Yeah. So we, we did that bit. And then we got to the end of the road where well, there was a traffic light where we were turning left. As we've turned left at this Oh, and then light, I slammed on the brakes and it was... You were about to, had you braked any firmer, had the lady behind carried on in the same direction as us, that would have gone down to a dangerous fault straight yeah. away. So was that traffic light for you? Nah. Who was that traffic light for? Those guys on the main road. Yeah. I just saw red and I was like, Ugh. But your brake was very brief, so it went down as like a minor fault on that one. Had the lady behind turned in or was affected in any way whatsoever, yep. that would have been a serious fault. Yeah, got you. So okay. if if you turn into a new road and there is a traffic light, there'll be a clear stop line if that traffic light is for you. Now usually with um, traffic lights, as soon as you turn into a new road, they're not immediately after the turn. There'll be space for at least one, if not two cars okay. to be more straight. So as you turn in, if you get a glimpse of that light, it's not for you. Okay. So don't panic. Yeah. Well, what did you think was your serious fault besides these? I thought at that traffic light. Well, where you got hooted at? That one, yeah, mm. and then also when I like pressed on the brakes, yeah, and then I kept going, and I was like, "Good on me." Mm. 
but I knew it I was a bad I did take you drive. on a really challenging drive. I did. I, I did kind of test it with the slip roads and the roundabouts and all that sort of stuff. So overall good. Just at the end, don't let it. Don't. I, I don't know. I'm so. I just was. I don't know. And I knew you, it wasn't good from the beginning. But the, the drive was fine up until this roundabout at the end. Yeah. I kind of gave up. Now what have we talked about? Not giving up. I know, I know when it comes to doing a mock drive even if i'm sitting there in silence and i've not said anything and you feel like you've made a mistake you sit there overthinking it now in the test the examiner's not going to go oh, no it's okay they can't on. answer they're me not gonna, they're not going to sort of uh, sit there trying to pacify you yeah so you've just got to think okay well whatever carry on okay cool yeah let it go yeah okay. <laughs> it's all right I'm it's a learning so curve now we've got another week yeah to correct some of these things don't give up yeah that's what I'm going to take away from this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just an idiot, literally. Okay, that's the end of our mock <laughs> test today. I hope you guys learned a little bit about what's involved in the test. And I did pick a bit of a challenging route for Emily, but that's because <laughs> I need her to really get out of this mindset where she kind of freezes if I'm not helping her. Mm-hmm. And starts to overthink. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you for watching.